Hi, in this uh, short video I'm just going to show why it's important to have internal block diagrams that are children of blocks rather than owned by package. So I'll just start by creating a, a quick SysML project. And then I'll, I'll create the classic structure. So let me just go to that internal block diagram. And I'll create a block definition diagram with a structure. So I'll have a system A, which has a subsystem B, and a subsystem A. Where I create a block definition structure is with directed compositions. So this creates a part A and a part B. Perhaps it's going to use the word it's followed by the name of the block, but I can name it what I like. So what we have here is essentially a, an internal structure. We have parts. A block definition diagram defines the relationships between blocks, but blocks are types of things, and parts are named usages of those types within the context of a, a block. Although Rhapsody does also allow you to kind of have parts which are global. So if I create a internal block diagram where I want to show these parts, just show that back on the diagram, then um, the frame of that diagram would represent the system that owns the parts. So uh, if I create a internal block diagram at package level, this is an internal block diagram of a package called default, then I can put the parts in it and you can see the dotted notation will tell me where in its nested structure it is and that has a part in it. And of course, I could put system A here and that removes the dotted notation. But of course, the frame here doesn't represent system A. It doesn't represent anything that's a classifier. So let me just add a port on the boundary here. Another port. there with a connector. Now if I create an internal block diagram as a child of system A, then you can see this is an internal block diagram of a block called system A. And that means that the frame represents the block system A. And the things inside that frame then represent parts. Um, should be able to populate relations there. Complete relations all interesting. Ah in the right context. If I have a, a different part then, so, so the block definition diagram is a diagram that shows relationships between blocks, which are types of things. The internal block diagram is a diagram that shows me the relationships between parts, which are usages. And the frame here represents the block that owns these parts. If I have a nested hierarchy that goes deeper, so subsystem, so maybe component C is a child of component A and component D is a child of block subsystem B. So I've created these parts effectively. 
call that part C. I'll call that part D. Now if I put part D here, you can see it's dashed because part D is not owned by subsystem A. Part D is owned by subsystem B. So if I move that into there, it's no longer dashed. So the, if I if I drag something onto the, the diagram, this is an internal block diagram. So if I, if I drag a block, it's dashed because it's, it's not something which is owned by the element that this frame is representing. So internal block diagrams are diagrams of the internal structure of a block. So things that are not in that internal structure are going to be, have dashed lines on them. That's the fundamental thing. There's two fundamental things here really. One is that blocks are types of things and that parts are named usages of blocks within the context of another block. So I can have global one and that an internal block diagram is a diagram of those usages and how they're connected within the context of another block. And the frame of the diagram represents that other block. Now in RAPSD, the internal block diagram frame, now there's no context setting here. The internal block diagram frame is determined by the ownership of the diagram. So the internal block diagram here is owned by system A. That means its frame represents system A. That's why I should always create an internal block diagram underneath a block rather than at package level. Unless you have parts which are global. So I hope that helps. Don't forget, I have a business that can deliver customized training in Rapsi to suit your needs and your budget. Thank you very much.